Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with some Shadowgun Legend news today. Hey, there was a Madfinger stream earlier this week and they announced a bunch of new stuff coming up in the game very soon. They did not say when because they don't want us to be disappointed if there's a delay, but there will definitely be a huge update in Shadowgun Legends. What I'm looking forward to this area right here guys the martial massage uh is gonna be open and they did uh give out a few details apparently we'll be able to change our appearance and this is something i kind of look forward to since the start of the game a couple weeks ago i will finally be able to fix my stupid face this character guys is ugly af uh <laughs> i didn't know we were not gonna be able to to change our appearance i just I was super anxious to try this game, so I play. I, I created my character super fast and I jumped into a game. Hopefully, we'll be able to change our name once because some guys, they created their character, they forgot to put a name. And that's why so many people have Shadow Goo with some numbers and letters to their name. Um, that kind of sucks for them because once uh, once it's done, you cannot go back and, and change your name. So yeah, there's that. So the the massage thing here you'll be able to change your appearance also they said you'll be able to respec or change your skill tree reassign your skill points that's also something people are looking forward to because uh the game is very new people don't have too much knowledge so you kind of have to experiment and we realize a lot of people don't have access to gunslinger this is one of the very powerful skills in the game uh, people are abusing that in pvp some people think gunslinger should be nerfed i don't agree it's a style of play if you put your points there you will not have access to some other skill uh, or skills or passives in the game so it's a choice you have to make you go for gunslinger you probably won't have access to uh, some of the crit damage uh later in the game so yeah whatever i mean i'm i'm kind of excited we can respect and finally be able to try different classes uh what else uh this skill right here supercharger also one of the best skills in the game and some people don't have access to supercharger because they assign too many skill points in survival or combat but hey uh yeah it's about balance and having different play styles but looking forward to that for real so this new area will be open soon all right what else they announced on the last stream uh, pvp pve a lot of new things coming up in war games first of all a new pvp mode uh honestly i don't play pvp at all i played like three duels and two or three ascendancy matches i don't care for pvp you guys know me uh i'm an rpg guy i play many rpg games or mmos I like to grind gear, I like to farm for better stats, better equipment, better perks. I could play arena all day, I could farm co-op dungeons all day, but PvP is not my thing. I know a lot of people really look forward to more PvP modes, and well, these guys gonna be super happy, I guess, but hey, why do you think this is so long to queue for Ascendancy? Because people don't play PvP much, and yeah, different games for different players. To me, this game is extraordinary is probably the best mobile games out or one of the best mobile games out there and it's perfect for me because i don't care for pvp but these guys who want to play pvp are waiting a long time to get a game it kind of sucks for them but i don't think the game is the problem is probably the player pool that's the maybe more focused on farming gear right now but maybe in the future uh, when they got the gear they want maybe they'll play more pvp also, they announced there will be one new co-op dungeon. It's one of my favorite things to do uh, once you know what you're doing. Farming dungeons, Voltaic Fist, Blade Dancer. I mean, I could I could play a couple more weeks of that because I don't have the legendaries yet. And they confirm again, I told you guys in my previous videos, there is a specific legendary drop that will only drop in Voltaic Fist. There's another specific legendary that will drop only in Blade Dancer. Other legendaries only drop in Silver Arena, only, and other legendaries only drop in Bronze Arena. So you can farm Voltaic Fist all week, try to get that one legendary. Then you could farm Blade Dancer all week, get another legendary. 
So there's still a lot to do and a lot to be discovered in this game. Uh, they will add another co-op dungeon. I'm all cool with that, but I'm not done with farming the other one. So hey, why not? Same thing for Arena. They will add, or they said they are lo looking forward to add uh, a gold arena. So gold or golden arena is going to be even harder. Silver arena, I mean, people are farming this uh, under 20 minutes sometimes. And but you still die in this arena. It's not a, it's not that easy. The drops are pretty good, mostly blues, a couple purples here and there. But gold arena is gonna be harder. But they said better loot, so that's gonna be also another cool thing. But I guess it's gonna be pretty hard. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. So on top of that, what else is new? Well, they said some cosmetics in the game that you can buy in the shop. They will not be there forever, so they might disappear one day. So the older cosmetics will become something rare for collectors. They might get some value later down the road. We will have trading in the, the game. That is old news. I told you guys about that a long time ago. It was on the Facebook group. We don't know when, probably not soon, but one day we will be able to trade our stuff or cosmetics and something will have more value because they no longer available in the shop. So other than that, they will add a bunch of new features. Really, really excited about that. But they will also fix some existing stuff that is not working properly maybe. I'm really thinking about squads, uh, friend lists and stuff, communication in guild and uh, other communication overall. It's not excellent right now. But really what's bugging me the most is the squads. It's very hard right now to get a good team for speed farming. Uh, we're always disconnected from each other. Cannot get some players in the squad. They don't appear uh, in the squad. It's very hard right now, and it could be a lot more fun if they fix that, but hey, uh, I like this game, guys. I will still play this game, even if it takes a while to fix all these little things. It's very, very, very good right now. I like to play. I play hours and hours and hours, and I will play more of that. So my question for you guys today, type in the comments, what are you looking forward to the most in the next update? What is the one thing that you want to play first when it comes out is it the pvp mode co-op dungeons or new arena let me know in the comment i'm really curious to see what you guys like so that will be it for now thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did watch my other videos subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications i'll be back soon take care <music>